All right, y'all, out here, I wanted to try this with the Fire Team tires on it. So although it is a forest version, I'm running 6S on it. Yeah, it's definitely putting down the power a lot better. Let's see the turning. Kind of rained out here. So it is a little slippery. end up sliding into something <laughs> I did raise the body up some and I stiffened the suspension up and I did that for more or less trying to run off-road more and doing jumps and stuff with it slip slide I definitely feel that even though I haven't changed I touched the discs It's definitely putting the power down more. Now you guys saw in the video I put out earlier, I did say my motor slipped, but I checked all the gears and everything is fine. It's just a lot louder for some reason. I checked all the diff gears and everything on it, so. Yeah, this is definitely putting the power down a lot more than it was before. These tires don't balloon as easy as the stock ones do. So are the fire teams uh So imagine this, these tires with that low C body on it. That's actually gonna be a pretty good combination there. A little drift session. A loud drift session. But you still need to check the diff, so. Because <laughs> they are, I've never seen these tires really balloon on any other vehicle. And they're puffing a little bit as I run. Trying to make sure I don't run into these curves and stuff. I wonder if my uh, dual rate steering and stuff is turned all the way up. Let me check and see real quick. Uh, turn it up to 100%. There we go. A little sharper turning. It's not doing bad, guys. It really isn't. I know we were all looking at alternative tires. A couple people put some videos out. Um, trying to put different tires on here and stuff just to see how it perform and these fire team tires are actually doing good if it wasn't so wet out here of course we have to test this off road but <laughs> oh go trying to avoid that yeah i need to bring this over here before i end up Slipping and sliding into a curve or something. If I can get a close-up doing that. I doubt it without hitting myself. Let's try. Let's try to come down here. Someone got it. <laughs> I didn't go full throttle like I wanted to, but
So the vehicle definitely, definitely, bow, <laughs> just barely tapped, definitely has potential. I'm just enjoying driving this y'all right now. Oh, I really am. If you've never done this with your RC car, gone out after rains, find a big open parking lot, I recommend try it, because it is fun. Especially if you got the power to kind of power slide, hit that throttle like you're drifting. Seeing who these cars are coming down here too. I think I might have lost the tire or something might have came loose again. Let's see what happened while we're out here. Uh, something froze up. I think my servo went out. Look at that. Oh, and I think my motor, I might have, I might have gotten a little bit too hot, y'all. I smell that motor. Um, now I was running this on 6S. This is not a 6S capable motor, but I do, I feel the heat too, actually. I can actually feel the heat. See if I can get this off real quick. Uh, yeah, so that might be the end, oh shoot, of this motor. Yeah, so the motor didn't move too much, but I can definitely smell it so yeah um so that lets you guys know this is not a 6s capable motor because i was running at for she's six minutes but it was all out these tires are bigger than the stock ones maybe should have stopped when i was ahead but there it is so the motor kind of seized up um right there with that so the motor's no good no longer the fan and stuff is still good on here but you guys can hear that still going but the motor just went completely kapooey so anyway um Making sure that's not loose. It's just the heat sink that's kind of loose on there. Uh, so anyway, don't run the 4S on 6S, especially how I do, especially with modified tires on it, because that's what you'll get if you do that. So I'll end up replacing that motor probably with something else some other point in time and doing some stuff with this that God knows when. But anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, put your comments down below, and uh, stay tuned for the next video. If you guys could, if I had smell of vision, y'all would smell this motor all the way over there. Because <laughs> if you never had a burnt up motor, that's what a burnt up motor smells like. I'm smelling it all. I'm smelling it right now. So.